We are excited to announce today that um, we have an agreement on a transformational shared revenue deal uh, that will also have the largest expansion of school choice uh, since the program was originally founded. We have a bill that, as, as the speaker uh, mentioned, um, invests heavily not only in, in school choice, uh, closing that gap uh, for once and for all, and also the biggest investment in public education ever in the state of Wisconsin. Over a billion dollars for public education that will go into, into our schools around the state. All of us as legislators, whether we're in the Senate, the Assembly, Republican or Democrat, have been hearing a lot from our local units of government that they're starting to feel the pain on offering the core services of government, whether it's police and fire, ambulance service, fixing our roads. And they came to us and they kind of presented the idea. What if we would dedicate 1% of the sales tax that the state already collects and put that into shared revenue to fund our local units of government? We've seen double digit inflation under the Biden administration and this is one way to offset it. We're tying the sales tax growth to their shared revenue. So it helps them keeping up with the inflationary pressures that we're all seeing. We did some regulatory reform to make sure that these dollars were being spent really wisely. In addition to that, we came up with a way to allow the city of Milwaukee and the county of Milwaukee to deal with a pension issue that's been happening over the last couple of decades on their own. We're not bailing them out, we're giving them a tool to help themselves. The pension issues of Milwaukee have been building for decades, we have all known that. And, and, and it truly could bankrupt the city in 2025 and 2027. I don't think that's good for the, the state to have our biggest city go bankrupt. So yes, we will allow the city of Milwaukee to take it to the Common Council to a two-thirds vote to raise their sales tax by two percentage points. For the county, we will allow the county board, once again, a two-thirds vote to increase their county sales tax by 0.4%. These funds must, and I cannot emphasize the word must, be used to address their unfunded pension liability and to maintain and grow their law enforcement, fire protection, and their emergency services. This is a, a good day for the state to give Milwaukee the opportunity to correct years of mismanagement. Um, with this two-thirds vote of the city council and county board, uh, they will have to have they will have to have the two-thirds uh, vote from the city and the county um, in order to have any net new spending or net new positions in their local government. This will also prohibit any tax levy dollars to be used to expand the Milwaukee streetcar. It will also prohibit any of the public health uh, local public health officials from closing down businesses for extended periods of time also not being able to deem any of these businesses as either, as either essential or non-essential uh, businesses. And again, it directs all shared revenue to be used for uh, local law enforcement, fire, EMS, public works, and transportation. It cannot go towards growing government. Trying to make sure that we have the absolute best um, education system in the entire country has always been a priority. Now we have great public schools and this bill today makes a historic investment as Senator Lemmy who said over a billion dollars um, in new revenues for public schools all across the state. But it also makes a historic investment in the schools that are an alternative for some of the parents who believe that the public school that their kids go to isn't providing the education that they need. Well I am proud today to thank Governor Evers for the leadership that he is working with us to have the largest investment in public dollars in private school choice in the history of the state. So this number uh, that we are putting forward today also has a huge investment in increasing the reimbursement rate for special education. Uh, we will increase the reimbursement rate for special education by $97 million. That's on top of the $1 billion that we are investing in the per pupil increase. We do a lot of important things, but really when it comes down to it, what is the most important building block we have in this state? It's the next generation and how we prepare them. And what's the building block that does that? It's our schools. This has been a historic investment in our schools, public and private. We've given it a very nice bump to our low revenue districts, again, to create more parity out there. And then that also transfers on to our choice and charter schools. 
because the idea is every kid in Wisconsin is just as valuable as the next kid. This bill also repeals the personal property tax. First of all, it's a tax cut of $173.8 million each year. But secondly, it also, it also gets rid of a tax. Another great thing for this bill and a great thing for Wisconsin. You should be incredibly proud of the work that the legislature has done on your behalf. Uh, we will have transformational uh, school choice expansions. We will have money for public schools. We will have more money for all of the local government services that we know are priorities. And on top of that, we have a large number of conservative wins with things that we have struggled to get across the finish line before that are all part of a very comprehensive bill uh, that will really showcase the good things that happen in Wisconsin.